Every parent knows being a mom or dad is a lifetime job. From the moment your child is born, you promise to always be there for them. But sometimes life takes a turn and it's the child promising to be there for their parent. For many wounded veterans, that role reversal comes much earlier than expected. Ilhia Giantson and Angelina Taylor are only in their 30s, yet they've already devoted so much of their adult lives to caregiving. For Ilhia, he began caring for his dad, Anthony, when he was just 19. Throughout his childhood, Ilhia recalls his dad as a sweet, hardworking family man. Unfortunately, when Ilhia was only a teenager, his younger brother and mother passed away in the span of just a few years. While their sudden loss left Ilahia grief-stricken, his father emotionally collapsed. For the Vietnam veteran, the sadness of their passing surfaced long-suppressed trauma from his time at war. He became withdrawn, debilitated by anxiety, and found the day-to-day -day challenging. Still just a teenager, Ilahia promised to be there for his dad. Angelina's journey as a caregiver began just as suddenly. Six years ago, Angelina was an ambitious woman in her 20s, pursuing an advanced degree to work with children with special needs. Then, without warning, her father Benjamin suffered a stroke. Benjamin had served in the Marine Corps during the years of the Vietnam War. Following his stroke, he was left in a near vegetative state. After a few months recovering in a nursing facility, Benjamin became wholly dependent on his daughter's care. While Elohia and Angelina watched their friends find their ways in life without any cares but their own, every decision these young caregivers made came with the same question, how do I manage this with dad? How do I ensure he's still okay? Elohia is his father's emotional strength. His dad's anxiety overcomes him in crowds like the grocery store and in settings with tough questions like medical appointments. Elohia has to be his cheerleader just to get him out of the house. Living in Hawaii, Ilahia used to have some success getting his dad out to the beach to go fishing or for long car rides. However, COVID-19 has made lots of his favorite spots risky for now. The pandemic meant the suspension of his group therapy and more time confined at home where Ilahia's dad often leans on his son to listen to his toughest stories from Vietnam. For Angelina, her life is devoted to her father's physical care, often with little outside help. When her dad was released from the nursing home, she asked the staff how to lift her father if he should fall from his chair. They said she was too small to lift her dad, not realizing there wasn't another option. She now sees a chiropractor for back pain. Angelina also had to learn to clean the feeding tube that doctors inserted in her dad's stomach and get used to helping her dad with toileting and dressing. When her dad first moved back home, he rarely slept through the night. Sleepless and exhausted, Angelina fell behind in grad school without much understanding from her professors. Over time, Angelina began to struggle with depression, but she still finds the strength to pursue her dreams, even if it has taken longer than planned. She has earned her master's in education, psychology, and advocates for caregivers through her success participating in pageants. Ilahia, too, has managed to keep his life going. He runs a consulting practice from home and has started a family. Ilahia's dad is now a grandfather and gets a lot of emotional support from his favorite three-year-old. Angelina, Ilahia, you promise to care for your fathers. Always and forever, we promise to care for you.